What's up fellow drone nerds? Welcome back to the channel. You know, you guys, you ask a lot of questions. And when I get asked the same question enough, I'm gonna make a video about it. Same thing goes with video requests. If enough of you guys are requesting the same topic for a video, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And to be honest with you, I don't know why I haven't made this video sooner because there really isn't a lot of information on this topic floating around on the internet. But today, we're gonna go ahead and install the Betaflight Configurator on a Mac. The very first thing that we're gonna need to do is open our favorite web browser. In this case, I'm using Firefox, but you can use Chrome or Safari or whatever your preference is. All we really need to accomplish is to be able to download a file. So however you choose to do that, it's totally fine. To begin with, I'm just gonna head over to Google and I'm going to type download Betaflight Configurator. Uh, once it's in there, I'm just going to hit enter and we're presented with our search results. Now I am going to have a direct link in the video description so you guys can just shoot right over to the release pages. But I have a feeling that a lot of you are going to be going to Google first. That's why we're starting this way. So we need to find the configurator and we're going to see that we have a whole bunch of different results in here. The one that we're looking for is the Betaflight GitHub page for configurator releases. And that's this particular link right here. I'm just going to go ahead and click on it, and here we go. We are now on the release pages for the Betaflight Configurator. Right now, we're in between versions. The latest version of Betaflight 4.2 is right around the corner. So we're going to have a little bit more on this page than what you would typically see. Right now, we do have release candidates available, and these are going to be the links on the top of the page. When you come here, Betaflight is always going to put the latest releases of the Configurator on the top. And I'm mentioning this because most of you are probably not gonna want the release candidate. We can see right now the version is 10.7, and this is what is going to support Betaflight 4.2, uh, but for right now we're gonna skip this because we wanna go with a stable release. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scroll down the page. See again, release candidate. I'm just gonna keep scrolling until we find the standard release. And right here we see it's actually labeled and tagged with the latest release. So now that we have found the latest version of the configurator, we have a little bit of information in here. It's gonna tell you, you know, what do you need and some release notes. Uh, and if you're new, I would definitely recommend reading through all of this, you know, just to help get yourself a little bit more familiar with the Betaflight configurator and how things work. Uh, but as we scroll down on that particular release, you're going to see we have a bunch of links for downloads. And again, I'm going to put a direct link for the Betaflight configurator for Mac in the description. Uh, but if you're on this page, I'm going to help you find the correct link. So we have all these downloads. Well, like the EXE, that's for Windows. That's easy. And then we have like what is obviously a Linux install, and we don't want that. So right here, we have Betaflight configurator 10.6 Mac OS DMG. Typically, when you're downloading and installing applications for the Mac, if you're getting them from the web, they're going to come in this DMG package. And that's usually something you might want to look for is this .dmg extension. That's going to help you find the correct file for your Mac. In this case, I'm just going to simply click on the link. And then Firefox is going to open my download window. And it's going to ask me, what do I want to do with this? In this case, I'm going to want to go ahead and save the file. I'm just going to say OK. And that's about it. I'm literally just going to wait for that file to download. Now, by default, it is going to go into my download directory. So I'm going to go ahead and find her. I'm going to open my download folder. And here is the Betaflight configurator. To open it, I'm just simply going to double click on it. It's going to get verified. And then it's going to bring us to the installation window for Betaflight. Here we go. Super simple. We just simply drag our Betaflight icon to the Applications icon and release. Now, when we go to our Applications directory, we're going to have an icon indicating that Betaflight has been successfully installed. I can go ahead and close my installer window. And you might see under your devices that you have a mounted folder for the Betaflight configurator. Just go ahead and eject that because we're done. If you ever need to reopen it, just double click on that DMG and you'll see the image remounted. 
Uh, but for now, we're ready to open the Betaflight configurator, and there's just a couple more small steps that we're going to need to accomplish before we're ready to use it. So let's double click, and the configurator is going to attempt to open. We can see we're verifying the file, and I'm presented with a warning. Betaflight configurator cannot be opened because it is from an unidentified developer. Well, what do we do? Well, I'm going to say OK to close this window out. You're going to need to open System Preferences. You're going to click on Security and Privacy. And right here at the beginning, under the General tab, you're going to have this option here that is going to allow apps downloaded from. And by default, it's only going to allow you to run apps that have been downloaded from the App Store and identified developers. Well, we know Betaflight's safe. This is something we've been using for years. So what we're going to do is right here next to this warning, we're going to go ahead and click Open Anyway. Once more, I'm going to click Open, and we have successfully installed and opened the Betaflight configurator. I can go and close up all my other windows that I've had open. I have now made Betaflight full screen. We can go ahead and connect our flight controller and start configuring our quadcopter. Well, that's it. We just installed the Betaflight configurator on a Mac. That was pretty easy, right? I'm going to do another one of these videos for using Betaflight on your Mac, and that's going to be getting your flight controller connected. And it should hopefully be as quick and easy as this video was. That's it. That's all I got for today. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.